federal government to complete laying of track for Lagos Iban Railway in two weeks. President Oshibadi attacks elites to pay more attention to plights of poor Nigerians. On special assignment, correspondent takes a look at rain and agriculture. This is Channel 12 News on NTA, a Bebuta, the station that's as solid as the rock. Thank you for being back. My name is Anila Balogun. We'll be kick-starting our news bulletin tonight with a story on Mr. President, who has expressed Nigeria's appreciation to the People's Republic of China for what he calls genuine efforts by the Asian nation to improve infrastructure development in the country. This was while receiving an audience. Chairman State House Construction Corporation Limited, Mr. Feng Chen, correspondent to Damu Sambo, has the report. Nigeria's infrastructure, President Mohamed Buhari said, had depreciated and deteriorated over the years, affecting standard of living and leading to loss of lives through avoidable accidents. The country, we therefore explained, cannot find the Chinese government enough for supporting efforts at rebuilding such critical assets as well as bringing technical expertise to the country. President Buhari said the federal government will continue to effectively collaborate and cooperate with the Chinese in this regard towards turning around the nation's old, out of debt, and collapsed infrastructure. He promised to personally pay attention to the many projects being undertaken in the country for the good of the Nigerian people. The chairman, China Railway Construction Company, Mr. Chen, who led a high powered Chinese team to the State House, said the company operating in 100 and 24 countries of the world has 18,000 local employees in Nigeria alone, with railways, dry port, free trade zone, and highways as part of the projects being undertaken. Mr. Chen expressed the belief that about 40,000 more jobs will be created. He announced plans to invest $250 million on a dry port in a Badon Oyo state towards decongesting Lagos ports and ensuring speedy clearance of goods by the custom service. While commending President Muhammadu Buhari for sustaining the war against corruption and insecurity, Mr. Chen expressed confidence that Nigeria will soon become a much better country. From the same house, Adam Osambo, NTA News. Meanwhile, laying of track for the Lagos Ibada railway line will be completed in the next two weeks. Minister of Transport wrote to me a on inspection tour. This knows that only a few kilometers is left out of the 156 kilometer track to be laid. Correspondent for Inaya Kalu, Oka reports. It was supposed to be a three years project, but in about two years, work has reached advanced stage for the Lagos Ibadan rail line that kicked off in 2017. The 156 Lagos Ibadan standard gate rail line is passing through Lagos, Abiyokota in Ogun State, then to Ibadan. It is expected to be extended to Kano State in the northern part of the country. As you can see, work is already at advanced stage with about 120 kilometers track already laid. We need for this time to inspection for the past 21 months. Minister of Transportation wrote in Amichi was at the Abiyokuta section of the project in the state and the bad and rear tracks are being laid. We are at kilometer 123, remaining 38 kilometers, so we know we told you already at the end of the month. So we just 38 kilometers and they laid 3 kilometers per day. Which means in 12 to 13 days, they should be either in the battle. We are already in the battle, ask it, but we should be at the end of the station, uh, station by the end of this month. And uh, with this now, our uh, name is going to be followed by ballast filling, and then you have the track, and the sound of the track. The second one will follow just almost uh, sequentially. He said federal government plans to extend. The Abuja rail line to worry seapers. The trip might be under us, including the, the seapers. The minister also inspected the construction work at the mega station, two major stations, and seven minor stations. That will be by September. Major, the major station will be at finished uh, September. 
the product effects we have generated about 9,000 workers on ground in the Kaloka and In the meantime, the Federal Road Safety Corps or Sector Command has advised motorists to exercise patience and caution while applying Lagos Ibado Expressway. The Open State Sector Commander, FRS, Clement Ola deleted that the erection of barriers on the expressway is to enable the construction company handling the project lay asphalt around Maduro, stretch of the road. This action has been responsible for traffic build-up on both sections of the expressway around Ibafu, Maduro and the Long Bridge. He urged motorists to use alternative routes such as Lagos or Abegwa at Jaijiru Shagamu roads. He warned motorists to refrain from driving against traffic as those apprehended will be compelled to pay 50,000 naira fine. The matriculation board jump has released the result of more than 1.7 billion out 1.8 million thousand. E. Jump registrar Professor Ishak Oloyede said this at a press conference in Abuja. Olayin Kaujo was there. During the 2017-2018 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examinations, JAM released the result within hours after the conduct of the exercise. However, the situation is not the same with the 2019 UTM. This is because JAM took a month before releasing the results. 1,886,508 candidates registered for the examination across the country, with 1,700,000 92,719 candidates' results released. The board registrar said the delay was due to malpractices. These include manipulation of biometrics, impersonation, multiple registration, and deliberate disruption of exam process. You know, we don't know the owner or the finger. We are identifying that this window is in the following. And that finger is registered by a corporate one person that you pick among them. May not be the finger of another person using that name. Results of 32,120 candidates have been withheld, while those of 15,145 are undergoing further clarification to ascertain their real identity as identical twins or siblings. We have also tried the registration centers and the computers used. What they did not know is that our system registers its very computer used for our own company. The jumper said 116 CBT centers had been delisted or suspended from conducting UTME. And out of this number, 18 have been sanctioned by the government board. Of jump for misconducts. The elders failed to pay more attention to the needs of the poor, who are in the majority. The vice president at pre inaugural dinner, organized in his residence at Lekki in Lagos, says the people expect three school meals daily on their table and therefore urges the elite to show more commitment to the critical issues that will affect the teeming poor population. Positively. Still, as correspondent GD Unifadi reports. Such as days when they lead converge, the vice president now fails to remind them of the need to remember those that no longer have the ladder of the society. Here again, Vice President Jimmy Oshimbaju is urging them to show more commitment by working with government at both the federal and state levels in order to bridge the gap between promises and performance. <laughs>
Then says that the administration will not disappoint the people as it is determined to make Nigeria greater. In Lagos, Judo Unifati, OK News. The rice road can be a catalyst for national development if the local government is revamped to ensure equitable distribution of resources at the grassroots. This was the consensus of stakeholders at the Obasiko Aditon. Professional chair in BC on Abanja University, Agoiwi. Correspondent Joel Popola reports that the lecture was titled Grassroot Governance The Sot, the World's Climate is Changing, and its effects is being felt all over the world. One of the most important parameters of climate is rainfall. In this special report, Anthony Gandano takes a look at changing rainfall pattern and its effect on agriculture in relation to the Year's seasonal rainfall prediction by the meteorology. Rainfall is the major factor in the growth and production of food crops, both at the germination and fruit development stage. Earlier this year, the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, in its 2019 seasonal rainfall prediction, forecast onset and cessation for this year's rain season for the north and a shortened length of season with below the normal rainfall amount in south. The Volker Person, United Nations Environment's Ecosystem Based Adaptation for Food Security Assembly in Ogo State, James Oyeshala, speaks on the effect of the predicted changes in rainfall pattern on food security. It's a kind of climate change. The rainfall is very erratic, cannot be predictable. And when there's a sudden dry spell, it affects food. And when the results are the farmers cannot produce all year round, they are fed. Uh, food uh, availability, it will affect food availability, it will affect food accessibility, and even the food nutrients. Situation in some farms and prairie sales outlet is a reflection of the effect of the nightmare prediction as only a few farm produce, including fruits, are available and costly when compared with what obtained this time last year. We can guess can be now is try the uh, last April now, which is not favorable for farmers. And then uh, today we are fed farmers. This uh, climate uh, change. We we'll just a little. But by June, July, then the April. After that, cassava doesn't look much. We don't see a good cassava much. The environment expert, however, suggested measures to foster food scarcity. We fish our farmers not to get their, say, I mean, their fingernails or give an eye. The person of planting five hectares. We tell you, you know, not to plant the whole thing at a go. Plant two, maybe one, two, not all will enter dry square. Government and other stakeholders are the other requirements to work hand in glove with farmers for food sufficiency in the country. From the sports arena. A total of 130 golfers were drawn from golf clubs across the 36 states of the Federation on the 2019 OBG Golf Tournament. Who's been honored? Tee of the tournament. The good thing about uh, uh, golf, um, not only do you exercise, you relax, you move together. What I would call relaxation, exercising, and interaction with members, uh, with friends, with uh, uh, associates. Being an ex president, uh, an indigenous icon, a well respected person, somebody uh, well known all over the world. So, we thought it wise within the club to institute this um, tournament, annual tournament, so that we can celebrate in this, this body of celebration. Still on sports, Super Eagles striker, or Dion Igalo, the defeat for AFCON 2019 tournament, as Sveda was knocked out of Madrid Cup. Stay tuned for details with Victor, Victor Azu. <laughs> Uh, 
Nigeria head coach Gano Troy will be keen to get positive news on his top striker Odion Gano, who picked up an injury in the Chinese Super League clash between his club Shanghai Shenhua and Tianjin Tedda Ofei. Gano picked up the injury in the 12th minute of the counter played at Tianjin Olympic Center Stadium and was replaced by Yuzan. Gano scored seven goals to match top striker during qualifiers for the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations, which will start in Egypt next summer. He is expected to undergo scan test to determine the severity of the injury, which will determine his availability for the Afghan finals. And in tennis, Dominic Finn saved match points to end Roger Federer's great coach return and reached the Nigeria for semi finals. Swiss Federer saved match points in his quarter final on first day, but squandered two of his players in the second set tie break against Finn. Unstressed Finn eventually came through 3 6 7 6 6 4 to set up a meeting with world number one Novak Djokovic. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The Titanic took us all. The team triumphs in the classic here in Madrid. So much for sports. MTA Abel Kasawa tomorrow, Sunday, host the 15th annual Tajuddin Ogolua Memorial Ramadan Lecture at MTA of the Premises. The lecture entitled Faith of Islam and the Muslim in Adverse Society will be delivered by Professor Abdul Razak Hilani, a professor of Islamic studies from University of Protakot, River State. Muslims across the state are therefore respected to attend the program, which commences at 10 in the morning. And on that note, we conclude the Channel 2 News. Thanks for joining us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. NTA Abeokta, Oyo University General Public to the 15th annual Tajuddin Jima Ogolua Ramadan Lecture, which will come up on Sunday Church Supremacists. The guest lecturer is Professor Abdul Razak Kilani, Professor of Islamic Studies, University of Otakot, the Imam of University of Otakot, Muslim Community, the Chairman of the Occasion, his Chief Sharafa, Tungishala, Baba Dini of Yoruba Land, Edo and Delta. Special guest of honor, Professor Abdul Samir Musa Olum, Medical Director of Federal Medical Center, Abeokuta. The Chief Host is the General Manager, NTA Abeokuta, Mrs. Fumi Wakama, RSVP, Ramadan Committee, come and you'll be blessed for each Nothing <laughs> So, I could be that's cool. You will know this city by Latin Asia, no more job at Papa Doctor. I did I didn't know you would be different. I shall nobody worry if you or you do I want more in Nigeria, I see China for a little China for a Okay, or 
and Jojia Naga in Jimo, Nisha, to be a welcome, we live in Nigeria, in a construction commission limited or benefit and chain, Nanijo, a Korea and Tamusambo, Jabo, we play, and Nasha, so we play, Nazi, but you live in Nigeria, Tim, Mojana, Tim, we are Joshua, we are going to be near a car, a Torade, a tea, a Tabasoke. Two months and see what you see. Back alone, it your bar, Padme, take good, Don't <laughs> Ilo <laughs> Nino <laughs> When you are Jacan Tamil, so bad you are called group. Yeah, you second. So when you say the Basaki in a joyful food, and then you are, when you are, put a lack of so no, so it may only in a general already a battery. See, they shall know she for a car in the key, good or joy or called full food, only a one year since the level in the Basaki. A canoe, full the Basaki, so Dakiji, a lasher, my real shadow, Tiso, old time, and we want to know Joe, who call it to see Penija and want to walk on me. Oh, shaman, and they got Tia will come back to my lady, you need a two and you, when they call a Dakija lasher. Be you, Joshi, and a boy, dear, dear. We are one more, not my, I hope my boy, Joe, do Tiso, be referred to, to feel what they Nisha <laughs> Omo <laughs> 
ati bi isimoro nitori pe rapo nilo opo me lati ta jade sugbon o yese iduwa fa awon iroko bi agbado awon onina nipa ilo ayika wa gba awon agbo iroko boju je ma na ni pe ki awon losin eja ni ti won ma se pete odo eja won si de bodo tori ni pe ti awon ba yamu yamu ojo bade o di dodo ko lo gbogbo awon eja be lo ni ti awon agbo toko won ni ki won fi ogbe iroko won si eto ki won ma da ya de gbogbo re le kan so won wa gba ijoba atawo to ni pe lo re idagba soke to gbe mama ki won di de won wo fa won agbo ko nje ko ni po ya mu ra ni le wa fun me la yo patana lo nja bo so akojopo iru won wa fun ti akoko iko mi juba e mo e pade wa nigba mi fun akojopo iru lotu o digba na yo na pade Thank <laughs> you.